Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. We've got some massive news to talk about today. We've got our first look at the 100th episode. Also, we've got some titles that reveal some massive stuff, including some returning characters showing up in these episodes. And I apologise if you hear any background noise. There is some drilling going on, which is really, really annoying, but we're going to have to deal with it because this is the only time I can record. But some amazing new spoilers to talk about, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so much to talk about, so much to get hyped about, I'm so freaking hyped. We'll talk about the 100th episode stuff in a minute, but let's talk about the titles that have just been released for episode 10 to episode 13. By the way, episode 13 is the 100th episode, so you know the big episode probably going to bring some people back we'll talk about that in a sec we definitely know some people are returning and so we'll get to that but anyway so episode 10 of season 5 this is going to be the mid-season premiere is called the bottle episode i really don't know what this is in regards to the only thing that comes to mind is if you have read the comics or you've seen like different iterations of brainiac he normally always captures like different planets different cities in bottles so maybe it's in relation to brainiac considering the next episode is titled Back From The Future Part 1 and then episode 12 is called Back From The Future Part 2 and what has Wynn been trying to battle in the future that being Brainiac and so that relates to the episode 10 title. So Supergirl is finally doing a double episode just before their 100th episode which is titled It's A Super Life and I will completely explain that and everything that has been leaked in the past day or so because there is a lot of ways that this will make sense. So Back From The Future, that is the title of the two part episode and what does this relate to? So the two part episode is just before the 100th episode episode we know Wynn's going to be returning for three episodes and where is Wynn right now he is in the future with the Legion of Superheroes with Monel with Imra and everyone so this remains a big question we know Wynn's going to return in this episode but is any of the Legionnaires is Monel going to make a cameo in this episode because it would obviously make a lot of sense will he make a cameo in the 100th episode considering we know some big characters are going to be returning to guest star in the 100th episode because it's the 100th episode after all which we'll get to in a second as to who specifically that is however because he's coming back from the future and the title is back from the future and it's a two-part episode i mean you can't count out the possibility of maybe a cameo and yeah it's a little bit unlikely that chris is going to actually return this season as monel however he just signed up to return on another cw show legacies as kai parker so that sort of gives me a little bit of hope. So what does the title relate to? Obviously it relates to Wynn returning in these episodes, which I cannot be more excited about. And it's mainly because, you know, he's in the future right now. He's been in the future for however long. Obviously the time that he spent there is not relative to our time that we've been having over here. And also with him returning, does this mean that Brainiac 5 goes back to the future? I don't think that's going to happen because I think they really like Jesse Raff on the show. I don't think he's like the best character, I enjoy him occasionally, but he's just like a pretty okay character, and obviously Wim was like one of our all-time favourites, like most of you guys agree with that, and so with him returning, obviously, seems like Wim's probably not going to return as a series regular this season, potentially next season if he, if Jeremy enjoys coming back for these three episodes. However, the deal with Wynn and Brainy was Brainy would stay in the present so that, you know, Wynn could defeat and help the Legionnaires to defeat Brainiac. So it's very unlikely that Brainy's actually going to go back to the future considering they like the actor, you know, he's a decent presence to the show. And we're pretty sure that Jeremy's not going to be a series regular this season, so they're going to keep Brainy for this season for sure. Like, I have no doubt about that. But whether next season they do a switcheroo and Jeremy wants to come back, Maybe that's the way to go. I mean, I would like that because I freaking love Win, and it's just going to be such a great joy and sort of relief that we're going to get someone from our past showing up. And now let's move on to talk about the 100th episode. This is episode 13 of season 5 titled It's a Super Life, an obvious reference to It's a Wonderful Life. 
and I need to explain the plot of It's a Wonderful Life to you guys. It's one of my favourite films of all time. I literally rewatched it two days ago. It was showing at the cinema in London. One of my favourite films ever. So what happens in the film is... You know, I'm going to be brief about it because I don't want to, you know, go on about how much I love the film because I could talk for days about it. But so basically, George Bailey, played by James Stewart, what happens is we get an account of his life and what leads him up to what was set up at the start with people praying for him, with his family praying for him, because he's got to a point. And so essentially, most of the film is seen through flashbacks, and this is told via the narration of some of the angels, one including Clarence. And also what happens, and I think this is the big linking point to what they're going to do in Supergirl's 100th episode, is basically when he's about to consider killing himself, Clarence stops him. Clarence is an angel second class, and what happens is he stops him, and he shows him a world without George Bailey. He shows him a world where he never existed, and that shows a sort of what-if reality you know, if he was never there, the changes and the impact that he has had on society. So what I think Supergirl is doing for It's a Super Life, as they've titled it, they would show a sort of what-if what situation. If Supergirl didn't have the impact that she's had and, you know, she hasn't touched all these people, it would be a situation where we would see alternate versions of reality. I'm not sure how, but this is all just theorizing, obviously. But with it being titled It's a Super Life, in relation to It's a Wonderful Life, I think we're going to see different iterations of what National City and the world would look like without Supergirl. So this leads me to the first leaked photo that was posted by YVR Shoots, and this photo has had everyone freaking out online, and I freaked out at first, admittedly, but then I saw the title for the episode and I was like, ah, I see what you're doing. So my theory is, right, this photo you get to see Kara revealing herself as Supergirl you know, she's in her reporter wear and she's got her Supergirl costume beneath to the whole world. There's all these reporters in front of her, there's all these cameras, the microphones. So she's been exposed to the world. Kara Danvers is Supergirl. But with it being titled, it's a super life, it's the 100th episode. Obviously, it's going to be reflecting on Supergirl's past, on the past few seasons that it's had. You know, we're on season 5 now. There is a lot to go back and re-look upon. And I think that's what they're doing in this episode. And so this leads me to theorize that this scene is in one of those alternate realities in which Kara actually reveals herself. It's a sort of what if situation. What if Supergirl revealed herself to the world like say Green Arrow or someone else? So I think that's a really plausible theory considering the title of the episode and considering the fact this is the 100th episode. If you've seen The Flash and Arrow's 100th episode, it's all reflective. And you know, the whole idea of It's a Wonderful Life is about George Bailey reflecting on his past and you know the impact he's had on people and that's going to be a similar thing to what I think Supergirl is going to do look at the impact that you know the path she's chosen not revealing herself as Supergirl or anything like that has impacted the world but obviously I could be wrong about this this could actually be Kara exposing herself to the public this could be just normal time you know towards the end of the episode or like midway through the episode being like yeah my name's Cara Danvers, I'm Supergirl. Okay, so big spoilers, here we go. Talking about the 100th episode, we've got a major returning character who's going to be guest starring in this episode, Odette Annabelle, who played Samantha Arias, and Rain is returning in the 100th episode. She was on set just yesterday, they were filming. I know they filmed some scenes with Katie as well, so Katie McGrath, Lena. And this is so fucking exciting because she played the best villain in all of Supergirl. Rain is by far the best. Season 3, I love season 3. And we know that Samantha was fine. She moved away with Ruby. And we haven't seen them since. So she's going to be returning. I'm not sure if it's going to be Samantha Arias. Or it's going to be a situation where Samantha returns inside you know, this alternate reality that potentially could be brewing up in this episode, which I've been theorizing about, I think that's probably very likely. However, it could be for real, like Samantha Arias. Anyway, so basically the scene that was filmed, this comes from Lena Luthor on Twitter. So, Odette Annabelle and Katie McGrath filmed a scene where Sam consoles Lena as they walk and talk, and at the end, Lena finally gets a hug. And this was a nighttime shoot, so, wow. Super, super excited for this. So it seems like 
when they're walking and talking they're just talking samantha is sort of consoling nina and you know talking to her but then they finally hug which I think is a really good sign that Lena is going to be going back on a good path. Maybe, this is a theory, maybe this whole episode is about Lena. Maybe it's her reflecting on herself to see what impact Supergirl revealing herself would have had on the world and on her. Because, you know, this has caused her to go down a sort of villainous path since finding out Kara is Supergirl. And this is sort of nearer to the end of the episode or midway through. Obviously, this is the 100th episode, so it's not just going to all be about Lena. But maybe part of it is her seeing this alternate reality. And she is finally comforted by Samantha. And, you know, she's back down a good path again. So I think that's a really, really good idea, to be honest. And I think it's highly possible considering the title of the episode and, you know, what's going on. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Are you hyped for Winter Return? Do you want to see Imra and Monel in cameos? I don't know how likely that is. And also, are you hyped to see Adet Annabelle return as Samantha Arias? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.